Billy the Kid, Mr. Billy Dean. And let me uh, go over here and uh, click a button and see if we got... There he is. How you doing? Hey, guys. You're sounding great. Awesome. George Island, you're coming in loud and clear. Oh, we love it. How are you doing? I'm doing great, man. In fact, I was just in Key West last night. And it's funny you guys were... We're, we're talking about that. Um, I go down there quite a bit, and uh, but I was there just last night, and uh, so aloha from the from the Keys. I'm back up at my home on St. George Island here in uh, the Panhandle of Florida, just about an hour and a half uh, south of where I grew up. Nice. I tell you, you have been a busy guy of late, out there touring all over the place. Well, you know, the, the 90s country music is uh, is made a resurgence here. Oh, yeah. Thank God. <laughs> so we kind of have a 90s country 90s country comeback tour that I'm doing with Shannon Doe and Wade Hayes. And uh, we just get to play nothing but the big hits from the 90s. And, uh, and it's great to be able to go out and do that, you know, um, and, and celebrate the 90s country music. Mm -hmm. but, you know, like this new album is kind of, you know, it's kind of a musical side no one's ever really seen or heard. Mm -hmm. And it really goes all the way back to my roots in Florida. Nice. So uh, you uh, have been on this. How long many more uh, of these uh, dates do you have on the 90s country tour? Well, it's just kind of starting. We're, 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 um, we put it together earlier this year and rehearsed a show that where the, all three of us, Shenandoah, myself, and Wade, could could different times be on stage at the same time uh and we are doing we're getting ready to make a run through montana and wyoming uh this month beautiful country uh, out there oh it is it is it, it, it's definitely that and uh but we're we're thinking it's going to run pretty pretty hard in 2023 and 2024 that's kind of you know that the idea of that um is uh you know got to go out and play the hits man that's what that's what pays the bills. Uh, <laughs> but it leaves you, you know, a little time too to be creative and make some new music too. Absolutely. And talking about new music, this whole brand new album is out, and uh, you've got kind of hit the uh, the coastal roots, uh, so to speak. Well, I think you know, I'm I'm from the great state of Florida, and um, you know, a, a couple a few years ago, uh, the Florida. The, the legislator, they they uh, put me in the Florida Artist Hall of Fame, and it meant so much to me. Oh, how that, cool. Um, that I, just made me homesick, and I, I thought it was time to go back home. Uh, and by going back home, I realized, you know, a lot of, of, of the radio stations around here, the, the musicians, uh, not a whole lot has changed musically. It's, it's, it's really kind of a, uh, you know, the, a, a mixture of that, of that you know caribbean kind of music and rock kind of music uh, a little bit of country here and there and um, so it kind of reminds me of the music that i i left here uh singing when i was a teenager i guess 19 years old and uh you know when you grow up in florida you aspire to be like a, a cowboy you know you <laughs> you, you want to wear cowboy boots and jeans you, you know you wear flip-flops and uh, bandanas all your life you know? <laughs> You uh, you want you dream about being in the snow with a horse and a you know and so I feel like I got to do that you know it's so like Kenny Chesney you know he was he was from East Tennessee so the mm -hmm. Tennessee boys you know grew up wearing boots and jeans they wanted to come to Florida <laughs> flip flops and the grass is always greener right <laughs> just kind of flip flop <laughs> no pun intended no pun intended. <laughs> So you're back down in Florida, and, and you feel right at home there. And uh, so you got into this doing this new album. So what really made you discover you trop rock and the coastal genre? You, what got you uh, really decided to do an album like that? Well, I uh, there's a, up in Tallahassee, they were telling me about uh, this group of people that had kind of organized, uh, a, a, you know, kind of a board of directors to help get Florida uh, to have its own musical identity, you know, and support a lot of the local musicians and the Florida musicians that play and entertain us all over this, this state around, you know, when we're having our margaritas, you know, um, and, they, and there are a lot of great musicians in the state of Florida. Mm -hmm. and they make and write a lot of cool music about the area. And um, so I was, 
I ran into a, a guy that was telling him about some of the music that I was writing from you know being down here on the island, and he said, "Well, it sounds like you would fit perfect in the trop rock. You should listen to Paul Overstreet's album." And I've known Paul Overstreet for you know 30 years. We we never worked together, but I I knew him, and mm -hmm. um, so I called him up and uh, I said, "Hey, man, what's this? I hear you've got a." you know, an album called Somewhere in the Caribbean, you know, uh, I always thought of him as a cowboy, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, he ha he actually has a house in the Caribbean. And uh, he goes, uh, yeah, man, they, they're calling, they've kind of been, been playing it on these trop rock stations and stuff. And, I, and he said, uh, I'd written about 10 songs or so that I pitched to Kenny Chesney and Chesney didn't record any of them. So he just decided, Paul decided to put them all on a <laughs> And I said, well, you know, and that's kind of what they wanted me to, to listen to his album, kind of get the, the, the feel and the sound mm -hmm. and the production. And uh, so that, that was kind of my guide for uh, making this. I wanted to make an album that was fun, easy. You know, I felt like I'd, I'd covered country music, Faith, Family, and the Flag, which is kind of a country music, you know, a brand. And I felt like I'd been there and done that. I was ready to have a few cocktails and sit on the beach and celebrate that. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. That's that's the way we like to live around here. Is, uh, <laughs> if we're not at a beach, we're dreaming about being at the beach. <laughs> exactly. So the the album, the rest of it's mine. Uh, we uh, I know you teased us about that uh, when we saw you down here in Key West. That uh, and uh, then you uh, released that first single. What uh, what made kind of got you heading that direction with that title? Well, you know, I, uh, that trip, I think it was that trip, I drove down and mm -hmm. uh, I hadn't driven down to the Keys you know, since, since, you know, my family did years ago when I was a little kid. So, and I just, I was passing all of these uh, RV parks, uh, these, uh, you know, these, these people that would look like they were in their 50s, you know, uh, mm -hmm. kayaks and bicycles and just living life. And I thought, man, they're, you know, they're probably done. Uh, you know, with college, their kids are grown, and uh, my kids are grown now, and I'm done with college, and it's kind of like a, a, a message to, you know, to that age group that, hey, mom and dad are done, you're on your own, the rest of it's mine, the rest of my, <laughs> is mine. The rest of my time is mine, and um, so, you know, it, uh, I, I told Paul, I said, man, I want to write a song and target that the empty nester, you know, the the ones that are finally feel like they they were successful as parents and it, and now it's just it's just a, the the couple you know it's their time is all theirs and they're gonna get to ride around see the country and go down the beach and enjoy life a little bit well Play. as new empty nesters here yeah, it has become our theme song yeah <laughs> oh, no, that's exactly what I was I was hoping to, Paul actually he texted me a a chorus as I was driving back from the Keys after we would talked about. You know, teaming up and doing this, and then I, I text him back a verse. You know, pulled over and and did a little writing, and uh, before we knew it, man, and by the time I got back to Nashville, I, I had a, a we had a song, and and a couple of days later, he came over to the studio, and uh, we recorded it. Had a lot of laughs, a lot of fun, and I wanted him to. Uh, I want it was great because I, I I also had been wanting to, you know, kind of this time around start collaborating with people that I have known. For mm -hmm. a long time that I've never gotten to work with. I talked to Vince Gill, you know, a couple months ago about that. He and I have known each other, done a lot of stuff together, never played music together, you know, never written any music together, mm -hmm. sung together. So uh, Paul was kind of like first on my list, man. And since he was already in the trop rock, rock you know, world, mm -hmm. uh, I knew he could tell me a lot about it. And it, was, it seemed like a good way to team up and bring a little, you know, attention to, um, you know, to the format. Nice. Now, and so, uh, so it became that just came kind of, uh, um, just pretty easy to you as far as just pretty much lived it. Oh, oh yeah, man. I, I, I think so because, uh, you know, I, I know so many of my friends who got to that, they got right to the place of their, of their life where their kids, you know, the last kid, had, you know, got married off or, you know, gone and, and, they, uh, you know, they were ready to cash in their savings. <laughs> they were just ready to kind of enjoy life a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
before you know it, something happens. You know, whether kids will circle back or boomerang back in, or you know, there might be a grandbaby that that they got they got a raise or something like that. You have to start all over again. And and I I thought, man, we you know, we we got to write a song for that group of people right there. You know, to, to say, hey, you know, it's my turn now. <laughs> well, we're we're gonna play that song for our kids before they have a chance to boomerang back in. Yes, and all of that stuff because our youngest just started college this week, so <laughs> we're like, see, yeah. The only problem is we just can't get her out. <laughs> she she turned eighteen. She's just not leaving. <laughs> Hey, I totally get it. My daughter is 27, and she's a nurse. Uh, but mm-hmm. She took her like six years to get the four-year degree. <laughs> so we're still kind of helping her out with those two extra years. Oh, yeah. At 27, so, uh, that's what I'm scared of. Our daughter's going to uh, school to be a nurse, so that's what's got me scared. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I tell you what, those traveling nurses, they make good money and they do a really good job. My, my daughter's doing really good. That's why she can afford to pay me back now. There you, go. <laughs> there you go. They've been trying to ship me off. I'm an RN in my day job, and they've been trying to ship me off travel nursing for a couple months now. <laughs> she won't do it. I tried. <laughs> Not going to do it, huh? No. <laughs> I guess she likes me or something. <laughs> Well, I see you got a guitar there. Are you interested in playing something for us? Yeah. What? What you, you want to hear? The, you want to hear the rest of us? Mine. Do give oh, me yeah. how about we? Yeah. How about we do that? If you want. All right. All right. Here we go. Let's ride. Man, I worked all of my damn life raising my kids. He's my wife. I paid off all my loans and I sold a big house. I got a new little casa way down south. Not sure how much I got left of time. Hey, but whatever I've got, the rest of it's mine. The rest of it's mine. The rest of it's mine. Gonna ride it down here where the sun always shines. While there's still a piece left of that American pie Already bought the bow, already signed the note Gave away my mittens and a big furry coat Only so many ticks on the clock before we're all out of time I'm taking it day by day cause the rest of it's mine Oh, I broke a string! Oh, that's terrible. Well, there's a little bit of that. <laughs> well, anyway. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> I can't believe that happened. Oh. Well, should I continue? Well, if you want, we're not going to stop you. Listen, you're Billy Dean. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> uh, something else, if you want me, I can just kind of give you a little verse and chorus of a couple of the songs. Sure, absolutely. That'd, That'd be, be great. fantastic. This is this is kind of a this is kind of a fun one here, man. I, this I like this one a lot. It's up. This is called the laziest man alive. <laughs> uh, well, should I do that one? Yeah, I'll do that one. You see the ukulele back there. Yeah, I see it. Oh, I love Lazy's it. Lazy's Man Alive. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I was punching a clock, pulling my weight, coming in early and staying late for the money. So sad it was funny. And now I'm making a living, living off the grid. Some say I'm the best there is at what I do. I agree, it's so true. Cause I, 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 I'm the laziest man alive. Nine to five, working on the art of getting by. I, 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 well, I'm putting everything on hold. My new goal is wasting time. I'm 
I'm the laziest man alive. Ah, ah, ah. I <laughs> love it. I know when I heard that on the album, I, I told Lou, I was like, she's going to call this, that's my theme song. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to earn that title. I, man, I think I heard, uh, I think I, I read that somewhere, Mark Twain, uh, he, he wanted, uh, his, his ambition in life really was to be the laziest man alive. And I thought, you know what? I resemble that remark. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great goal. You guys, uh, if you go into Key West, here's a little piece of one, and then I'll I'll get uh, I'll give you a little sample of, of, of this. Uh. I read a book about Hemingway. He came to life right off the page. What about war and fishermen? Things that were might have been. He wrote it with style. He said it with grace. The two great things that just seem to get lost these days. Cause it ain't about my joke tough. The fact that you drink too much. It's about how you look when you do it. It ain't about all your stuff. You spend your life piling up. Tell the truth. Ask yourself in a hundred years. Will the world know you were here? I read a book about him anyway. That is great. That's beautiful. I can't believe that broke a string. Broke a G string on top of that. Oh no! <laughs> oh, so have you been introducing these uh, new songs uh, while you're on the '90s tour? You know, um, I have not gotten to do that uh, yet. We. We're uh, we get each get about six songs to do, and um, as uh, as the year goes on, though, we're going to be able to have a slot where we can introduce our new. Now, on my solo shows that I go out and do, or when I'm with my own band, mm -hmm. uh, I, I in fact uh, my whole band we've learned the whole album. We, in fact, we want to do a kind of an album release party uh, before it, the fall gets here too much, and I like to play, you know, the whole the whole album with the band. We did a little bit of that on July fourth, and uh, we got most of the most of the songs off the album. We, we would go do the hits from the nineties mm -hmm. the first set, then we'd take an intermission and come back and play uh, the songs off the new album. Oh, how uh, fun! I think that's you know every time I go to a concert, I want to hear the hits, and I don't blame people. Oh, you know, oh absolutely! Play the hits, but then you know after that we'll. Uh, you'd usually take a little break and, and play the new stuff. And then if people want to leave, they can leave. <laughs> you know, if they, heard all, if they you know, heard all they want to hear, they can go. But uh, but it's fun to play this stuff live because it is, I've always been known kind of as a balladeer, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, I've had a lot of ballads, you know, Somewhere in My Broken Heart, Let Them Be Little, You Don't Count the Cost, If They Haven't Been You, all these were ballad hits. And this album is though uh, doesn't have hardly any ballads on it. It's, it's a lot of mostly, fun. Yeah, mostly up and fun and 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 uh, uh, and kind of fun party music, you know. And that's I think that's what everybody was, you know. I wanted everybody to hear that from me coming out of COVID, coming out of 2020. You know, I thought man, it's, it's good to you know uh, to have some fun to to listen to uh, when you're driving down to the beach. Yeah, the first time I heard Saltwater Cowboy, I'm like. Well, that's different. <laughs> in a good way. In, in a good, good way. way. In a good way. That's a little bit. It's got a little bit of a North Florida funk. You know, <laughs> North Florida's got, uh, you know, we got George Clinton over in Tallahassee. has got this funk music. You know? mm -hmm. A lot of funk in this area. Funk music. And you, you add a little bit of that, a little bit of Southern rock, and a little bit of Jimmy Buffett in there, man. And you got kind of 
a hodgepodge of, uh, of music that I listened to growing up and Saltwater Cowboy is very much reflected of all of that. Yeah, we've already played it on the show, and uh, mm-hmm. that's what we're going to lead when uh, we leave you. That's what we're going to lead out with because it is a fun song. We absolutely love it. Oh yeah, man, that thing uh, that st- that thing started off with the you know the guitar riff. Is that- it started right here in this room. I was. I was playing around with my guitars and I and I thought, you know, I'm gonna write I'm gonna write a guitar riff that has kind of the percussion, you know, built into the right hand and it took me a long time to you know to, to get all that Well that definitely gets people moving. Oh yeah, it's got a groove. Yeah, that's kind of what started it right here in this little room. <laughs> it's amazing where sometimes motivation just comes from, right? That's exactly right. <laughs> so, where can uh, people see you? Where you got? Uh, uh, can you tell us where you're going to be at? Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, if you guys go to uh, go to billydean.com, uh, all of my uh, tour dates are up on billydean.com. We also got some uh, autograph CDs. I, I was in Nashville about a month ago, and I sat down and I probably signed 500 of these things. You know, uh, the rest of it's mine. You can get an autographed copy, and it's not. A printed you know of my autograph i actually sat there and signed them. no stamps huh um, you can find that there what's that i said no stamped autograph <laughs> these this is the real thing yeah, that's exactly right um so billy has got the dates on there and then um i think what we'll do uh here in florida we may be able to get uh we, we may be able to get one of one of those album release shows we might wait and do it in the spring because you know fall is everybody's starting to get into you know, school and football season and everything. And I, uh, I'm not ready to let the summer go yet, though. Uh, so <laughs> I don't blame you. We try to keep a hold of it as long as we can. That's right. I want one more last hurrah, you know, before uh, the leaves start changing. Well, you know, I if might, you need some live something. coverage for that last hurrah, <laughs> we're here. I'm just let saying. us know. Right about that. I'm right, just I'll saying. You know, I officially want to have you there. That, that would be nice. awesome. That'd be fantastic. Yeah. That is awesome. So, uh, whenever you get is there any questions right oh, there, let me check. We had back. a lot of fans chiming in. We wanted to see if there was any quick questions that they had for you, if you didn't mind. Okay, yeah, man, not at all. That'd be great to you. She had to get her phone away from the microphone. That was part of where our problem was. Let's <laughs> get a little feedback. I love your backdrop, man. I well, that. that the uh, backdrop behind you there. Yeah, the Tiki Man, he, he uh, that's been up there since uh, I think I first known him. <laughs> the Tiki Man. Yes, sir. He's out there and he's out there enjoying the show at the Tiki Bar. Uh, I tell you, if you ever have a chance to uh, get down here to Chattanooga to see us, uh, he has built a, uh, an, yeah, I guess, an entertainment complex here that you, <laughs> you would have to just see. Really? Yeah, I've been known to yep. have some house concerts and. All kinds of things Absolutely. going on here. If I've got an invitation, I'd be all about coming. Maybe we do it there. Maybe we come there and uh, play some. Oh, that would, that would be, be fantastic. I'll speak for him right now. You got that you open got invitation. It. Okay, I'm going to hold you to that. Absolutely. Right. You, you, y'all just get a hold of us. We'll set something up. <laughs> you got it. I would love it. We'll set that up. Well, that is awesome. Perfect. So, um, Anything else? Any well, Darby Ledbetter well, wants to say hello. Yeah, he's a oh, cool. Hello, Darby. Yeah, Thank you guys for listening. Yeah, we've, we've got lots tons of people listening tonight. A lot of your fans are uh, enjoying it. Awesome. Yeah, a lot of your fans are uh, chiming in. First time listeners, I think, uh, to our show. Mm-hmm. We want to thank you for cross promoting that and yeah. introducing people to us. Absolutely, you know, back here, right back here on my deck, uh, during 2020, we did uh. 40 happy hour shows where we played for an hour every night, seven nights a week. Uh, I think I watched about 38 of them. (laughs) (laughs) Did you you really? I did. (laughs) That was so much fun. And we, uh, we want to do some of those again. We want to crank those. I've I've just been, you know, when I get home, I've been touring so much when I get home, I usually am on vocal rest, you know, I'm trying to be quiet, get ready to go back out. So I don't sing a lot when I'm home, but 
Um, but maybe this fall we'll be able to do, because it's really, you know, it's nice down here until January, really. So we'll probably get a few of those in. You guys will have to come down, make a trip down, and sit on the deck with us one time. Oh, the we're there. Hours. You just let us know when we are there. <laughs> You got it. All, right. All right, and plus the whole Tiki Man Radio crew is going to be in Key West the first week of November, if you're down in that area around then. I was looking at that. I was hoping I might be able to make uh, make it down there. We've got a lot of, uh, we've got a bunch of shows coming up uh, right around the end of October. i got to look mm -hmm. at that and see if I'm available. I, I, know there, uh, I know Dean Dillon and some people are doing like legends of some legend songwriters and stuff down there mm -hmm. uh, as well, but... Uh, uh, I'm going to make one of those one of these days for sure. Great. Nice. Well, we definitely want to thank you for taking the time to spend it with us. And uh, and we got to thank Kay. Uh, you're Kay over there. At, She's uh, you're, amazing. Yes. Yeah, she does a great job. You should give her a raise. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, man. I'll, I'll pass that over. <laughs> she was great. She's she was just learning about uh, you know the trop rock mm -hmm. genre and how that that genre is kind of making a, a splash here and uh, so we've actually been able to turn a lot of people on in Nashville about it and the rest of its mind just got added to uh, the video just got added to all the Margaritaville properties the hotel oh nice the, nice. Spots, the little video that we did if people uh, like to check out the video there's there's a video to Saltwater Cowboy a little lyric video on my YouTube site and mm -hmm. also the video that Paul and I did where we shot down in uh, Key West. Mm -hmm. and that is a fun video. On YouTube as well. So check that out. I think it's on my website too. I believe you can see it. I think it is. Nice. Everybody will have to check that out. So for sure. Absolutely. All right. Well, thank you so much. So, we, yep. My pleasure. And we, we, we will, uh, you just let us know and we'll be down here on your back deck for you now. Right. All right, I'm going to save a spot for you guys right out there. Happy hour. You can uh, all of that. Don't feed the seagulls. That's right. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much, everybody. <laughs> Mr. Billy Dean, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you. We'll talk soon. Yes, we will talk to you soon. And with that, we're going to leave you. We talked about it. How about a little saltwater cowboy?